What is going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment, and welcome back to Wreckfest once again here as we return to the all-time greatest track mod in Wreckfest. It is Talladega. We're trying the high banks out here in honor of Daytona being this weekend. We're going to celebrate NASCAR being back with a little classic NASCAR Legends at Talladega with this brand new Kurt Busch scheme. Let's get to it. Well, off we go on one of the all-time classic combinations. One of the most highly requested ones, of course. And there goes AJ Allmendinger around already. Now turn one, of course, notorious here at Talladega. So where will the action start? It will be right in front of us with Austin Dillon slamming on the brakes. And that's going to get me slamming into Bubble Wallace and the wall and my brakes because this run is pretty much shot. We're going to line it up for the ass back there. And while that's gonna do it right from the get-go, that's the Talladega I know, attempt number one. Hopefully nobody's real Talladega race ends up like that. Or AJ's, he just keeps wrecking it. Nobody behind us can really get off the line. Oh my God. Is there a glitch in the matrix right in front of my eyes? Well, Austin Dillon and Bubba Wallace just like perfectly recreated the events of moments ago. That's a bit worrying. Oh, what the? Somebody wrecked it big time. Someone's flipping. What happened? I don't believe they're quite done wrecking yet. That's going to be three of them going up to the wall. Blaney's on top of somebody sideways. Well, this is going to be fun to try to get through right here. This is going to be a lot of cars wrecking. We get tipped by the Snickers car. Ran into it a little bit, but we keep on driving and we drive right back into it. Right back into the field. Hold on, we can save this. Oh, Alberola takes a hit. Oh, I might take one too. That's a combo. The Wombo combo as I'm trying to turn it around. That is just something you hate to see here at Talladega. I mean, look at me. I lost my trunk. What's worse than that? This will lead us into a wreck that was literally so bad I lost my ass. But not really because of anything other than my own doing. We made it pretty much past that. We tipped Laney a little bit after that contact, but then I just kind of ran it right into the Penske duo here and lined them up for some shots. But not before lining myself up for that cursed wombo combo that we do run into a little too often here at Talladega. And I'm losing massive amounts of time to the leader up here as well. So I wouldn't consider our chances really great or ideal. So we might just have to take matters into our own hands here with Almirola. He's going to send me face first with the pirouette. Can I steer back into the seven here? Finish me off. There it is. Boy, in his 2013 look took me out. Oh, AJ, we got to get it together, my friend. This is getting a little sad. All right, turn one. Do your worst. Austin Dillon, do your worst. Will he slam the brakes this time? No, Chase Elliott is going to fulfill that role for us. How nice of him. They're all going to tan him, and I'm going to tan him up to the wall. That was a bit stupid of me. I did not quite mean to do that. That camera distorted my steer, and I, and I blew it. And what can I say? And now my car is going to get a bit distorted. It's like it's sent to a spin of Rooney here. How do I get this thing back going in the right direction? Or should I just line it back up for another hit? I should take a hit. I should volunteer for a smash in shame. You know what? I earned this. I deserve this. I lost the wheel. I don't know that I quite deserved that. That is going to go ahead and end the run. Long replay to unpack here. Maybe a little bit of stupidity to one box as well. Yeah, I'm definitely going to wear that one. That was not my best move, and I wound up Casey Kaning my way out of turn two and down the back stretch. And shout out to the one car. He did help me off the wall, and I appreciate that. Not necessarily sure that second hit was entirely warranted, but I mean, I guess in the grand scheme of things, I did feel like a hit was deserved. Maybe that was the one I should have taken that and just gone on with my day. But no, I am so honorable. I lay my car down on the line for Davey Allison, the Alabama gang. He has to defend Talladega's honor and takes me down. AJ, everybody's, hold on a minute, everybody's wrecking here. Oh, even in front of us, like, they're getting worse. They're evolving backwards. This is not going well. I'm getting run through before the race has even begun. I have a feeling this might hurt our chances of winning the race. They have really put some skew on my door number now. That thing is really moved. You thought it was moved before. That 45 has got some issues now. And I've got some issues that I've got to work out. You know what time it is. Who's getting got? Feels like we're going to catch them in the corners here. The only question is, where are they? And there they are. I've got eyes on the target. And down they go. And down we go. What a strike. Well, when your race starts like this, 
I, there's no point going on. You gotta just rain down destruction and try to take a little piece back from Wreckfest for what it took from you. That's the way I see it anyway. And it really took something from me. Firstly, I took my passenger door basically and pushed it inward. Bounced it off my rib cage. Thank you, Wreckfest. That's neat. But yeah, then you just need to get smashed up against a fence. Apparently that's how you get one up on the game. We need the free cam here to capture this earth shattering impact and look at the pack just destroyed from our actions. Uh, AJ, we gotta get you some help, man. You're taking me out now and setting me up on a silver platter for Ryan Blaine to come clean my clock. I don't need to be giving these guys more excuses than they already have to come smoke me like some fine Florida Gator barbecue. Oh, what are we doing up here, Blaney? What is this? Blaney's getting attacked by Ricky Stenhouse in his car. Ricky, you can't do that. We're getting dipped into a mega slam on the 22. That was brutal. We got to see this part again because we get up here and we really snatch the 22 soul. I did Blaney. There's some kind of Blaney conspiracy going on, but that's hardly important anymore. The replay doesn't really capture the glory of the hit in the moment. That thing really laid some damage down on Joey Logano's machine. That thing, that thing's not going to keep running anymore. I think it might be done. You got a Davy car beached on the bang. Oh, and it's Daytona 500 champion Michael McDowell. And he's not the only one. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is still beached down here. The backstretch. Kind of looking like a junkyard right now as this thing's winding down and we're I think we're actually losing time to Tyler Reddick. It'd be nice if he could hit one of these guys. Looks like we are gaining on him, but he's not hitting anybody. And we are not going to have enough. We're really going to need something to happen here. And those guys, it would have been nice if those guys laying in the middle of the banking could have done something about it, but it's too late. Tyler Reddick gets it. And it looks like with that eighth is going to be the best we can get out of that one. And I guess all things considered, we'll take it. As we just, man, that 22 car, he's hurting for that one. Fairly clean start for once. Can we get a clean turn one? <laughs> start this thing off on the right foot. No, Austin Dillon once again tests those brakes out right in front of all of us. Thanks for that. Oh, there's a couple of them wrecking down at the bottom. That's like three. Oh, that's a huge crash. And the rest of the pack's gonna join it. This is the big one. We're gonna have to drive right through the center of it. And we do, how did we do that? How did we just pull that off? Right through the middle of the wreck. And we've got the run of a lifetime up to fourth. What? That legitimately has to be one of our all time greatest wreck avoidances in the history of the channel. And they're wrecking up in front of us again. The leaders are gonna give us a chance. And if this two car doesn't take us out, we're gonna have a chance here if that happens again. Got a little action right here at the white flag here. One lap to go. We got a car in the racing lane way off the pace, holding up the leaders. And it really is getting this close with a lap car in the way. Landon Castle, do I even dare try to make this four wide? We are four wide for the lead, three wide now for the dub on the last lap. This is one of the most insane battles we've had in Wreckfest in some time. This is a dog fight for the dub. Tyler Reddick's gonna have to give away. It's now me and Briscoe. Briscoe, I hate to do it to you, buddy, but I can't let you do this. Kyle Busch almost sabotages me, but we get up. I cannot let this happen. We gotta get it. There's someone laying in the road and we come together. There we go, we dump them. I will take absolutely no shame in this. What an incredible dub and a wipeout after the line. That is one of the greatest ever. Well, I hope the Daytona 500 in real life can replicate one 500th of that insanity and awesomeness. That is one of the greatest dubs of my career. I mean, that really, it was an ugly pass. I'll give it that. We dumped him. But two cars are changing lanes. It's Talladega, baby. Daytona better do us something good like that because that is going to do it for us here today, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy the races this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe. Hit the comments down below. Let me know what you want to see next. And as always, thank you all for watching. With that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.